I'm Mr. Gonzalez. I teach um, computer classes here in South Carolina Community College. And I'm Alex Snowden. My name is Quentin Young. Yeah, simulation game development program is a program that will allow the students in the gaming industry developing um, programs in the in gaming environment to be part of the big pot that everybody wants to be in. So some of the softwares that we use are, um, we use Design3 uh, as a package that students uh, actually get when they register in our program. Um, Microsoft XNA, the programming language that use C Sharp to be able to change or, or create code for the Xbox 360. They uh, will be using Unity as one of the programs. So we also use um, Unreal Engine. We can integrate Photoshop into uh, the, the gaming programs that we use. And since this industry is very profitable, a lot of companies today are switching over to gaming because the fact that money is there, so videos are uh, movies and music is actually less profitable today, so that's why a lot of the industry is going towards gaming now because that's where the money is at. The educational part of it also, where um, not only just uh, uh, companies are thinking about creating games for uh, enter entertainment purposes, but also educational purposes as well. And that's why some of the community colleges uh, in universities now are offering programs that uh, uh, for students to graduate and be able to get a job. The mobile application development uh, certificate, we are going to open this certificate next year. Um, it's going to be an 18 credit hours and we will have some of the simulation game development uh, courses embedded in the here um, because they're for mobile applications uh, where you can actually not only just create games but for, for PCs but you can also create games for tablets and smartphones. So we're trying to focus on the Android platform. Um, but uh, obviously the background of all this will be Java, which is the, uh, pretty much the platform that we use for many, many other uh, cell phones, smartphones, and uh, tablets. A little bit of knowledge in programming will be um, good to have, but it's not required. Uh, it's, it's something that companies are requesting. Uh, we are looking into developing this program because the fact that it's on demand Companies are looking for uh, people that have a degree or a certificate that um, actually they can go and work right now. Once the student get a certificate in, uh, in South Piedmont, they can also uh, refer to, if they want to continue their studies, they can get a, an associate degree in Central Piedmont Community College, which is around the corner. Most of the courses that they will be taking in the second year and CP will be on uh, online, so they don't have to physically go to school. In SPCC, we will have courses <clears throat> the first year where uh, we call them blended, where the students will come in to class and they will be able to work with the instructor here um, once a week. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the majority of classes also are online, so and no matter where the student is located, they will be able to. Uh, register and be able to graduate. If you want to continue your studies, uh, you can definitely continue, get a four-year degree, and even now they have a master's degree in uh, UNCC, which is University of North Carolina, Charlotte, um, where you can continue your studies if you miss that, and that's what you want. There's uh, independent games, which are also known as indie games, and those are games that are made with small teams of people, usually about like four to ten people make an indie game. However, a lot of uh, gaming companies, like when they're developing games, they have to put together huge teams of people. I'm talking like hundreds of people that have to be incorporated into making this game. It's just many openings for different jobs that people can have. You can have like a, like a game programmer. Um, yeah. They have to actually write the game logic, the people who design the characters and the models. The people who make the sound, there's huge sound teams for just all the different sounds you hear in a game. So there's so many aspects of the game, like every little part of the game, there was probably a specific person or team that was 
designed for that was specifically purposed for making that part of the game. Uh, companies like uh, well-known like Activision, Blizzard, uh, Epic Games is a really good one because they're actually uh, their headquarters is in North Carolina, Cary, North Carolina. I mean, hundreds of companies, hundreds yeah. of companies with hundreds of positions available and hundreds of different varieties yeah. of jobs. And, I mean, and uh, I just want to emphasize that the, um, the industry, the gaming industry, is focused more on the Charlotte area, the Triangle area, up in Raleigh, and also um, in California. So these three points, uh, you know, North Carolina State and obviously in California, are the major uh, points for creating gaming. The, the, the companies want to keep it here, they want to stay here. Um, if you go to pretty much a, 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 some other states, you're not going to find what you will find here in North Carolina. And of course, we're very proud of that. Um, we're excited. Uh, this is a huge industry, and we're uh, we can't wait to have you here. You'll have a lot of fun in this program. I mean, <laughs> video gaming development. I mean, it allows for your imagination to go wild and yeah, lets you have. You can. You're so free with it, and you can just have so much creativity that it's just an amazing field to go.